So under last week's, uh, well, not last week, I think it's been a couple weeks, but in the last video, you asked, what's the story behind all these medals you see in the background right there? <laughs> So I just got done with my bike ride. I did 40 miles in about two hours something. Um, it was good. I felt really strong. And I will explain more about that in the update video on how the training program and everything is going. But I wanted to, let's just take a look. And let's just go whoa, over here and take a look at these medals. <laughs> It's kind of nice and there's a story behind all of them but the one i wanted to start with because it's appropriate because we're talking about bike riding is the tour de palm springs and the tour de palm springs is an event right here i don't know if it will focus or not there we go excuse that motorcycle i don't know if you can hear that the Tour de Palm Springs is a bike event that is in the Greater Palm Springs area every year and it's a either 50 or 100 mile bike loop that you can do and it's a charity event. It's not a race or anything. So we do that every year, well at least the two years that I've lived in the area here. It's a really fun event. I really like it. Next year we are going to attempt the 100 mile bike loop which I have not done my father-in-law who I do it with he has done that before and we'll see how that goes that is the Tour de Palm Springs I have two of those because I've done it twice now and the rest of them I gotta give credit where credit is due not all of those are mine there's a couple here St. George Ironman for example and Oceanside one um, that my wife has done as well because come on focus 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 because um, yeah she's also done these crazy half Ironmans but that is it for that. Now I am pretty darn hungry. So I'm gonna go eat something and then we'll take a look at the rest of those later on. All right, so it's a little later in the day. Well, actually it's the afternoon. Didn't really do much today. Some laundry, ate some food, relaxed. Um, and now getting ready for the second session of the day, which is just, oh, I just ran. <laughs> which is just an upper body gym session you know just because we can um but let's talk about the next medal and that one would be is it this one or is it this one this one focus 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 iron man St. George 70.3, that was the first 70.3 and first triathlon, first half marathon, first bike time, first time swimming in a lake that I've ever did. And I did the whole thing without really any training. It was an absolute train wreck of an event, but it was a lot of fun. I did that with my wife the day after we graduated from college. So we walked on Friday, then we drove to the race on Saturday and did the race. And yeah, it was a train wreck. I didn't train for that at all. I had not really any idea about the nutrition that is required for this event or the endurance for that matter that is required. So after we climbed up Snow Canyon on the bike, I fully cramped. I had to walk the last like little, like 200 yards or so on the bike up Snow Canyon, then rode into town and I was done. My wife caught me in transition for the run and um, somehow able to bring it back, well, bring it back and we ended this thing with eight hours and 30 minutes or what, eight hours, 29, I think officially right after or before the cutoff. And it goes to show you can do an event like this even without any training, but we're past those days. So now, we will train. So let's uh, do some upper body workouts and then we can talk about the last few medals. While I was working on the video, I was thinking about pineapple and pizza. So the question for this video is, does pineapple belong on pizza? And just so you know, there's only one right answer. I'll tell you at the end. Let me know down in the comments below what you think.
that was man i'm shaking upper body workout done it is about a hundred degrees in this garage right here it is getting flipping hot where we live but let's talk about the last type of metal and that is or are running events running metals whatever you want to call it these ones were specifically for a half marathon i also have some for a 10k and this really shows there is a wide variety there's half marathons there is half ironmans there is olympic distances there is online 10k running events there is bike events there is a ton of different events out there so there's something for everyone and every city has some kind of sports event that you can sign up for so i know it really helps at least it helps me if i have a set date a set event goal that I need to train for. That is what motivates me, it gets me out of bed and actually gets me to train. So if that is the case for you, I highly encourage you look locally what kind of races you have. For example, I mean, we're, we're lucky. We have a 70.3 Ironman, we have a half marathon, we have a bike event, we have Olympic distances. We have a ton of events here in the area, but every area has something going on. So find something that interests you that you can train for and man i need an ac or something in this garage it's only the beginning of summer and it's already miserable so different type of video this time i hope you liked it kind of a little bit of the stories behind these events um it looks more impressive than it is there's really not a ton of medals um you should see my father-in-law he's been doing this stuff for like 30 plus years he has a shit ton of medals that's impressive so one day we'll get there but for like two-ish years in not too bad i would say so with that being said I hope you guys have an amazing day go find that one race or event that motivates you to get out of bed and peace out thank you guys for sticking around till the end and the answer is of course pineapple belongs on pizza it's with the best thing on a pizza it's it just the texture and the flavors they, they just go really well together so there you have it Thank you.